Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial, and again, it's a Counter-Strike editing tutorial. And in this one, as the title says, I'm just going to be covering uh, death smooths and smooths in general. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much just the different angles or third-person shots or watching the enemies die in a Counter-Strike movie. And I constantly get asked how to do this, and it's pretty much self-explanatory, and it's super easy, and yeah, so I hope this helps. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a movie config and a source TV demo. Now, if you don't know what a movie config is, it pretty much allows you to um, record the demos, and if you don't know what a source TV demo is, it's like any other Counter-Strike demo, so you can play back matches that have already happened, but it's recorded through Source TV, so you can spectate any player and go into third person and free fly around the map and all of that. So um, I've included links to a free demo of my friend's wallbang, which I uploaded a few days ago in the description, and you can just download that for a Source TV demo if you don't have any. And I've also included a link to a recording tutorial, which has a link to a movie config, which I'm using now. So anyway, now that you've downloaded all of those, or if you don't need to, let's just jump right into it. So as you can see, as I open up my um, Counter-Strike, my movie config automatically uh, tells me all the controls. And the only ones we really need to pay attention to are recording and Source TV binds. Now in Source TV binds, it has uh, forward, back, move left, move right, move up, move down, and then left and right, which is spin left and right. And remember all of these, so it's pretty easy, W-S-A-D-I-J-K-L, which are four keys in two little groups on the keyboard. So um, once you've got that, once you've written those down or whatever, just uh, click Demo Player, Load, and uh, we'll just load up a random demo. Okay, so here's what the Source TV demos look like. When you open them, they're just in a random place on the map, and you can fly around. Now, sorry if this looks a bit laggy. My screen recorder doesn't really pick up CSS very well, but I'm sure we'll be able to manage. So, um, here we go. As you can see, um, all you need to do is pretty much record while moving the camera around. So say if you just want to fly by on the map here we can press um, A and D to move and then um, you know I and K to move up and down and J and L to spin so as you can see if we just do some random stuff we can um, spin around and do whatever um, say if it's spinning too fast too and you just want to do a really gradual uh, spin around this map what you can do is play around the commands so CL underscore your speed um, or however you say that, I don't even know. Um, you can lower that value from 200 to say 20, and that way it spins a lot slower. So if you just move, you can see it's um, spinning around like that. Um, you can change the up and down speed as well, and the forward speed. And I'll have all the commands for you in the description. Um, I'm not sure about them all off the top of my head, so yeah. So pretty much if you just look at that, you can see we got the main actions going on here and um, all you need to do is pretty much record while you're playing around with the camera and it can take quite a while to get used to or a few times to get the um, exact look you're going for um, an easy alternative because you've only got really one attempt to do it and if you stuff it up you have to start all over again um, is you can just position the camera in a still place so if you know the enemy dies near the palm tree here you can just um, move the camera to here watch the enemy die and then you can import the footage into say um, Sony Vegas and add some pan and crop to rotate or slightly zoom the camera in and that's just a quick alternative and an easy way to get some decent looking still smooths um, so that's pretty much it all you need to do is find where they die move the camera, record while you're doing it, so press F1 to start recording. Um, and I recommend a high frame rate while recording smooth so you can slow them down and it looks really cool. But um, that's pretty much it. So um, you can also use pan and crop in moving uh, smooths to rotate, spin the camera, zoom in a tiny bit, just to fine tune them. So I hope that answers everyone's questions. There's no big secret to it. It just takes practice and a few tries sometimes to get the look you're going for. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Check out my other Counter-Strike movie making tutorials. And I'll see you later.